Hey Taurus, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot, and this is your general love reading. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with you guys in love. If this is your reading, I encourage you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right, so let's jump right in and see what's going on with you, Taurus, in love. Taurus, what is going on? with Taurus what is the challenge that Taurus is facing the ten of pentacles came out in a verse okay so there could be a situation that is affecting your overall stability some of you guys it is a work situation um but others of you guys there's some kind of commitment here that may, may have fell through maybe you ended a commitment recently with someone or this foundation between you and someone right now is a little bit rocky shaky okay now the current energy is the three of wands in a verse the justice in a verse with the three of swords in verse so taurus I, I see a situation here where you've been maybe waiting for someone okay there's an the energy of waiting because well there's hurt here there's hurt there may have been a breakup or some kind of betrayal ending um but i feel like taurus there could be a situation where you're now saying to yourself well maybe i should not be putting my life on hold the justice in verse yes yeah, someone may have done you wrong may have done injustice to you may have went out, out of their way to hurt you in some way could have been a situation that wasn't balanced or there could have been unequal give and take but i feel like right now taurus there is the energy of healing recovering letting something go if it doesn't serve you and so the three of wands and verse could be literally no longer waiting for something to correct itself or waiting for this person to do better now in a recent past i'm seeing the two swords in a verse the chariot in a verse with the fool some of you guys you're dealing with a libra we got aries and we got cancer in recent past taurus i feel like you had to make a really difficult decision ahead of a hard decision this decision could have been um you know could have kept you stuck in your head conflicted with the two swords but there's something about moving on having a new beginning putting yourself out there taking a risk okay after something here stops working in your life okay the chariot in reverse something here is not victorious you feel like there's no growth there's no progression therefore you're having to move forward in a new direction the fool is about saying you know what i'm going to change the situation around i'm going to put myself out there this could be a new path a new opportunity that is presented to you um and as difficult as it may be to move on from something here it's saying that you I feel like you know you needed it, okay? So a lot of you guys, this new beginning can help you move on from something that's caused you immense hurt, okay? A lot of emotional pain. On your mind, Taurus, we have the Knight of Wands. In verse, the Six of Wands with the Page of Wands in verse. Some of you guys are dealing with a fire sign. Mm -hmm. Leo, Sag, Aries, okay? Um, Taurus, I'm seeing a situation here where... You're getting a lot of attention. Some of you guys are getting attention from the public scene, social media. There's something about you getting a lot of attention. And someone here kind of still, I'm getting someone may creep up on you. The Knight of Wands is the energy of someone coming and going, coming into your life. But then there's no direction, there's no change, and then they leave, okay? Um, come in your life, and then they charm you. They say all these great things, but then they don't really take action. So Take it how it resonates. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, there's something that comes rushing in, okay, with that fire energy. Someone here could be giving you a lot of attention, but I don't think there's much change taking place is what it's telling me. The page of wands in verse is like there's a lack of direction, you know? It's like they come in, um, six of wands, they show you all this uh, attention. They desire you. There could be a lot of sexual attraction here with someone who's coming into your life, Taurus, but then there's no movement. Uh, the page of wands and it kind of like dies essentially it doesn't go anywhere um so that could be something that you're dealing with right now with people that you're meeting maybe you could you could be attracting a lot of casual connections in the foundation what you're not aware of is the five of pentacles nine of wands in reverse the lovers and why this is happening is the knight of swords now we do have the energy of a uh air sign gemini libra aquarius very very strongly gemini energy there's someone who feels left out by you feeling as if you kick them to the curb <laughs> they're not important anymore feeling as if they are abandoned okay or neglected by you i feel like it's because this person didn't do enough they didn't make the sacrifices that you were wanting them to make for you i feel like there's the energy of you giving up losing hope and letting it go 
I feel someone here wants you to make a decision with the lover's card. They may still certainly feel this incredible connection to you. Uh, feeling like, you know, you guys belong to you with each other, right? There's the energy of you complete me, the lovers, right? Um, and I think that this this person uh, may be maybe wanting to come towards you with this knight of swords. I'm going to find out what this person is all about. There's some kind of communication coming in from this person. And it could be because, well, we have the lovers right next to it. So it's almost like they'd be coming in for you to make a decision about them finally. All right, so let's see what the outcome is. Nine of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Eight of Swords in reverse. I see that a lot of you, Taurus, you may be working on yourself coming into the near future. The Nine of Pentacles is standing on your own two feet, strong, uh, vibrant, right? You're working on yourself. You're manifesting what you want. There's something here about you standing alone, investing in your future, your money, your stability. Now, I do feel like there's someone very, um, a secret lover or some kind of secretive energy around you. This could also be the energy of something that, that's just not, um, you don't know about, okay? But I see that there's a secret energy. I feel like there's a secret person for sure that is still feeling tied to you. Um, and, you know, you may decide that you want to just work on yourself, but we're going to find out what this energy is all about. It could be a Pisces here. All right, so Taurus, let's jump right in and get you some more messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest. I do read for a lot of you guys. Um, I channel a lot of different messages. The whole story may not be your story, but pieces of it could be, okay? Especially for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. What is this Ten of Pentacles about as a challenge for you, Taurus? The Magician card in reverse and the Five of Pentacles. So the challenge for you guys, Taurus, is that when something doesn't work, when something breaks down with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, uh, whether it's a faulty structure or someone didn't want to give you the commitment, Ten of Pentacles in reverse, right? You now having to, your challenge is to, not stay in this place of lack, feeling like, you know, oh, my whole life is ruined. I can't manifest anything. I feel powerless. I feel weak. I can't do it. You have to fight back. You have to fight for your happiness, the fight for your life back. Take your power back. The Five of Pentacles is here. So it's speaking about you kind of feeling like, oh, my life is over, but it's not. And so a lot of you guys, you really have to hone into your power, uh, you, you know, really uh, manifest what you want. What do you want to create? What would make you happy, right? What, what what do you need to do to rebuild yourself back up after something breaks down on you? So give me the clarity on the Three of Swords. Yeah, there, there's definitely something that you're moving away from. Ten of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. Some of you guys is a long-standing relationship. You may have known this person. I'm getting three years, ten years, ten months, uh, dating with this per dating this person for a really long time. Some of you guys, it could have been a marriage that you're moving away from, moving on from, and that's why it's so. Uh, it's difficult. It's taking a while for you to move on because there was definitely um, a lot of security here or you built something very strong with this person and there's something about you waiting for this person or there could be an energy of having to wait to fully heal and let this go. Why is the justice in reverse? It could be a Libra. The High Priestess in reverse with the Seven of Swords. So whoever you're dealing with, something here could have came out. I'm getting an exposure of a secret, something that was kept from you. Um, I'm also seeing the Seven of Swords in uh, Seven of Swords here being as someone here in your life that was very sneaky, very manipulative, lied, cheated, went behind your back, did something here, and they did an injustice, right? They really hurt you. They sabotage uh, a beautiful connection here. And so that is the energy that a lot of you guys are moving away from. Someone here that you couldn't trust, you could not rely on because they really really did a number on you and you can't you know the seven of swords is that energy of having to part ways because someone could be toxic or it just again wasn't for your greatest good now let's see what the recent past is i feel like in a recent past you've made a decision with the two of swords in reverse to no longer be stuck ace of wands and a fool in reverse it's been really difficult for you because i see that some of you guys you're having to move forward in a new direction ace of wands maybe you have a fiery new beginning maybe fire sign could be coming in someone very attractive but there's something about you not trusting not trusting of this new person that you meet not trusting of love not trusting of yourself it's like something here can be holding you back with the chariot in the verse, it's like you don't feel it's going to be victorious. It's not going to work out. So what's the point? Um, but there's definitely a new beginning that you're um, moving toward. It's on the horizon for you. And um, something that you could be dealing with is that, can I trust this person? Can I trust this new opportunity? Why is the chariot in the verse? It could be a Cancer or an Aries. 
Eight of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Swords. A lot of you guys are questioning if you can trust something because, you know, you don't want to invest everything, your time, your energy, your love into something that isn't going to move forward, right, with the Chariot in reverse. Because I feel that Taurus, you're still trying to move on from something in the past that didn't work for you, something that crumbled right before your eyes, something that you didn't see coming, someone that may have blindsided you. So why is the Knight of Wands here? It could be someone coming, rushing into your life. Fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries, or someone that has fire in their chart. Nine of Swords and the Four of Swords. Now, some of you guys are someone here that's rushing into your life after a period of no communication. Four of Swords could be the energy of, I'm just spending time by myself, resting, regrouping, and all along, all of a sudden, someone comes in and brings all this stress to my life, the Nine of Swords. So it's almost like you are... In this space of really trying to do some d deep reflection, spending time by yourself, finding peace of mind, and then someone comes rushing in and the Nine of Swords is just anxiety, worry, stress. Why is the Six of Wands here? I feel someone's coming in because they just want your attention. Eight of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Yeah. Some of you guys, they want your attention. They want movement. They want change with you. This is someone who may miss uh, miscommunicating with you, miss your attention, right? Um, but the Eight of Wands is definitely some kind of communication coming out of nowhere. Um, they, they want some kind of progression. They want to achieve something with you. The Queen of Cups, I certainly think they could be missing your love. Uh, maybe the love you gave them, the loyalty. But it's almost like they come in, but there's there's really no plan. The Page of Wands and Verse. It's like there's no plan of action to really direct this connection forward. So let's see what's going on with the Five of Pentacles in the foundation. The Five of Pentacles, whoever this person who's feeling left out in the cold could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Queen of Swords came out in a verse with the Four of Cups. There's someone who feels distant from you, um, abandoned, left out in the cold. But the thing is that I feel a lot of you, they've done this to themselves, right? The Four of Cups is a rejection, an offer. Maybe they felt, you know, you couldn't, you couldn't make them happy or you weren't good enough. Um, four of Cups could also be that missed opportunity energy. Someone here could have been very much in denial with the Queen of Swords in verse. They could have been in denial of this connection. They could have lied to to you held things back could have been a lot of communication issues but ultimately i feel whoever this is they did it to themselves why is the lover's card here king of pentacles with the page of cups in verse so someone here could be wanting you to make a decision about them okay your energy is the king of pentacles so taurus you certainly may be looked at as someone who is the secure option you're grounded you're um, motivated you're driven you have a lot to offer and I feel like this is someone who may who it may be thinking right now about apologizing in order for you to um, rethink a decision that may have been made in the past right the two swords in the past um, the page of cups could be saying I'm sorry asking for forgiveness um, <laughs> can you reconsider me right the page of cups is an apology so there's definitely someone here Taurus who wants to apologize for something they've done why is this knight of swords here there's some kind of air sign or someone rushing in very impulsive queen of wands in reverse with the devil now i feel some of you guys they could be uh affiliated or in some kind of relationship with this queen of wands some of you guys that is the devil <laughs> they, i'm getting the devil made me do it um some of you guys, they sabotage this relationship with you because of this Queen of Wands. But the Devil card, I feel like your person is working on breaking ties from this situation. That could be something they've been holding on that it's created a lot of blockages in this relationship with you. I feel like someone is finally acknowledging it. And once they acknowledge that that person wasn't good for them and may have been or led to some kind of toxic activity or way of thinking um, within them, they're rushing away from this person. I feel like they're rushing toward you. And that's why we have the Page of Cups. Someone here could be wanting to apologize. Um, but that's queen of wands for me typically it's the other person it could be fire sign leo sag aries it could be that mistress or third party for some of you guys okay now let's see what the outcome is the knight of pentacles is here so it is speaking about you guys taurus really focusing on yourself you may not be so quick to give up your singlehood um why is the high priestess here eight of swords Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Nine of Wands of Verse. I just feel like you guys are tired. <laughs> I'm hearing, I'm hearing exhausted. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, I think that right now you're focusing on your stability and security because once you take that away, it's almost like you're nothing. You feel incomplete. You feel um, broken. And so I think that there's someone here that maybe you don't know everything about. Maybe you're feeling like, I don't know you. I can't trust you. Um, and so the, the Nine of Wands in reverse is speaking about kind of giving up, not putting your all into something, not wanting to just make a sacrifice for something that you don't believe is for you. So 
I think that what I'm seeing, Taurus, is that you may be continuing to stay single. There could be someone coming up in your life. But with the High Priestess energy, I'm getting you may not trust it. And you may have to take the time to uh, make sure you and this person are on the same page. You guys can, um, you know, your values, your beliefs, what you want. Because I see a lot of overthinking with the Eight of Swords. I feel like this person can bring stress to your life or you're stressing about maybe getting involved in, in a connection where... In the past, like, it, it really ruined you, you know? The justice in reverse, you went through a lot. And um, you've overcome a lot, too. And I just feel like you don't want to get back to that place. So that is what I'm seeing, Taurus. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. I hope you all have a great weekend. And take care of yourself.